Let's talk about plastic bottles at Eden Curry High School. So it's the fall season, it's a hot day, um, pretty tough practice and you're really, really thirsty. So you grab a plastic bottle. But I want you to stop and think before you grab it. So that's 80% of the plastic bottles in the United States that end up in a landfill. Well, let's think about it. Fall season, Eden Prairie High School, how many people are out there practicing, doing their different activities? Football, football participants, we've got 180 athletes at Eden Prairie High School. Boys and girls cross country, there are 90 athletes for cross country. Soccer, both boys and girls together, 200 athletes are um, in soccer during the fall season. How many people in Eden Prairie is that on one day practicing on that hot day where they want to grab that water bottle? 850. And what we did calculate is, talking about the coaches, the trainers, the student managers, the fans, the parents out watching those, say we practice Monday through Friday, how many bottles is that? 42,500 bottles. 42,500 bottles just by in Prairie athletes during the fall season. And remember, 20% get recycled, 80% end up in the landfill. So that's 8,500 that get recycled, 34,000 bottles just from Eden Prairie High School fall athletics ends up in the landfill. So I want to talk about what that does to our environment. But it's estimated that it, it takes about 700 years before plastic starts to decompose and over 1,000 years to fully decompose. 60 million plastic bottles each day in the U.S., 30 million in Europe, and 10 million worldwide every day are used. It takes three to five times more um, water to make one water plastic bottle. 2.5 billion tons of carbon dioxide is produced from manufacturing that plastic bottle each year. 151 billion liters of petroleum to produce that plastic bottle. That would run 500,000 cars every year. Just to get the plastic bottles to the market, 1.7 million liters, 17 million barrels of oil every single year. We know the oil um, problems that we're having. We know about it not being a great renewable resource because it takes a long time to produce that oil. So what are we going to do about that? That's where you guys come in and you need to think about what can you do about that. Now, as you know, that there's a lot, a lot of different people involved. They are telling us what we should buy. You need to do the same thing. We need an engineering team to design and develop a system to hydrate those athletes. We don't want them to grab that plastic bottle. We want to make it easy. We want to make it safe. We want to make it affordable. And we want them to say, here is where you should be drinking. Here's where you should be rehydrating. That engineering team is going to do that for us. We need a research team that's going to collect a ton of data to show people the impact that plastic bottles have on our waste system and on our environment. We need a research team to show the health impact that drinking out of plastic has for us, reusing plastic, what that does to us. We need a team to show us that so that it will help us sell our way that we're going to hydrate. We need educators. We need a team that will show athletes what's the best thing to hydrate with. Is it really Gatorade? Are they selling us something that's best for us or are they selling us their product? That education team is going to help us with that. And then lastly, we need our marketers. And we know because we watch TV, we read magazines, we know how important that marketing team is. We need the marketers to get the word out there and use all of this information that the other teams are going to provide for us so that we stop using those throwaway plastic bottles. So it is time to create our teams.